善合作组织成员国联合军演的中国参演部队全部抵达。President tweeting, all of the fools that are so focused on looking only at Russia should start also looking in another direction, China. But in the end, if we're smart, tough, and well prepared, we will get along with everyone. That from the president. As a new Pentagon report warns, China's Air Force is likely training for potential strikes against the U.S. So is this another sign China is, in fact, our next biggest threat. Here with Insight is one of our old friends, Morgan Ortegas, a former State Department press officer, former financial intel analyst for the Treasury Department. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning. Nice to see you. Good to see you. What do you Thanks. think about this Pentagon report? How concerned should we be about the, the idea that the Chinese mm -hmm. Air Force is preparing for strikes? Well, I've been talking about China for quite a bit on your show. We did a, a week-long uh, segment on Fox and Friends about China, what they're doing to expand militarily, economically, politically throughout the world. And I think this is something that all of our viewers Ed, should be paying attention to. What China is trying to do is to build their military to be a near-peer competitor to the United States. Since the fall of the Soviet Union, we really haven't seen a, a near-peer competitor from a military perspective. So we have the Russians, which are once again being mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. active and you're seeing more of their submarines and the Chinese of course which are building carriers which are building submarines which have a very active uh, uh, you know land component as well so I think it's something for us to watch it's something for us to be careful to, to, to note because again they are trying to increase in size to mm -hmm. be that competitor to the US especially we've heard a lot about the South China Sea where the Chinese are building fake islands propping up surveillance uh, and other equipment there and, and that's really goes to the central part of what we're trying to do in Asia which is freedom of seas, freedom of navigation. Absolutely. And I want you to react directly to the report. Here's yeah. part of what the Defense Department said on Friday. Quote, over the last three years, the People's Liberation Army has rapidly expanded its overwater bomber operating areas, gaining experience in critical maritime regions and likely training for strikes, as we mentioned a moment ago, against the U.S. and mm -hmm. allied targets. How, do, how should we be reacting from a military standpoint? And then I want to get into other components of this, of this battle. But how should right. we be preparing at the Pentagon? So I think it's important um, for us to continue our presence in Asia. The Chinese goal here with all of this is they want to be is they want to have the sphere of influence over the Asian region. They want to control that area. Right now we're there quite significantly. We have our allies in Taiwan, in Japan, in South Korea, Australia, others. And so the Chinese do not like that we're in their backyard. They don't like that we bring their carriers right near their shore. And, and so continuing to show uh, our capability, continuing to do uh, exercises there, and continuing to show that we are that we're not seeding that region is important you know over the past probably 10 to 15 years Ed, we've been really distracted in Iraq and Afghanistan for very good reasons but what's yeah. happened is that the Chinese have we've seen through this report are expanding their capabilities dramatically and it's not just with these conventional weapons it's with mm -hmm. AI weapons it's with drones it's with a lot of satellites a lot of things that we sure. don't see on a normal basis all right some outstanding insight as always from Morgan Ortega the Pentagon says the Chinese military is likely training for strikes on U.S. targets. That's according to a military report released Thursday, coming less than a day after the two sides said they would hold talks over a rising trade war. The report points out that the People's Liberation Army has quickly expanded out its bombing areas over the ocean. Beijing's been spreading its influence for years in disputed areas of the South China Sea. But earlier this year, the Chinese Air Force landed bombers on islands and reefs there as part of training. Thursday's report said it was not clear what message Beijing aimed to send by expanding those flights beyond, quote, a demonstration of improved capabilities. It also noted that Beijing's defense spending hit $190 billion last year, and that number's only set to rise even during an economic slowdown in China. That's not all. The Pentagon says China's military capacity in space is on the rise, too, despite what the report calls a public stance from Beijing against the militarization of space. 
This month, President Donald Trump's White House announced a plan to usher in a space force as the sixth branch of the military by 2020. One of the arguments in favor of a space force is that U.S. rivals like China appear increasingly ready to strike U.S. targets in space if a conflict breaks out.